thought I thought Dylan was going to say, well, he is one of the distinguished individuals. Oh, my brave young welcome mentor at Hima, at Yachichi, I'm given Oki. Ma here you earn the good year quizic, my good year quizic, you brave skull, where my right of Lane, he not in clear, better than the Hiatani, and he destined Adisk. It is a great opportunity and it's a great pleasure for me as Vice Chancellor to welcome you all here. And uh, we are welcoming an international community, a uh, community of those who are passionate about education here in Wales, but also uh, on the UK and on international stage. We've got colleagues here from Wales, from New Zealand, from Canada, USA and Europe. Uh, we've got representatives from national and local government, from agencies, the Education Workforce Council, ESTIN, Qualifications Wales. All of these organizations, all of these individuals are passionate about transformation, delivering change, maximizing change, and securing we have the right structure to deliver for youngsters in Wales. It is about delivering for Wales and making sure that we develop an appropriate infrastructure for teachers and also for future trainees. We're here, as Dylan noted, to launch the Athrova, the Institute of Education. I had the privilege a couple of months ago to give an open lecture on some of my own personal thoughts where we should be going. And as part of that lecture, I noted our pledge as a university, an educational pledge, a new opportunity to lead. And I, I know that all the universities in Wales will want to do the same. This is about capacity building. You know more than, about that than I do, but it's also about partnership, of securing a commitment to improve the status and impact of teaching. And this Athrova, this institute, is nationally rooted. We want to create a program teaching for Wales, nationally rooted, but certainly it's globally connected. And through our partnership with schools, with organizations, we hope to make a small difference within this very exciting agenda that the government has set. And for us today, in launching the institute, we launched several new initiatives. Like me, in not plain or yet, a digwell got who it was that Benny Sigandoni or partner with the Gidascolion at Draws Cymru. But Cavle Vathli and Genet Lethal, who it was at Roscan to Scolion and by he in a few Betham Heathy. The opportunity today to launch a professional learning partnership with over 100 schools across Wales is in itself a very important statement. This is about creating now the right context where schools, where teachers, where universities, where national organizations come together and develop a common infrastructure to deliver standards and to deliver new opportunities. And we have a range of schools here, pioneer schools, hub schools working within regional consortia and other partners as well. We want to focus upon co-authoring, co-delivering and co-evaluating a new system base for education in Wales to raise the standards and to give opportunities. As I mentioned before, teaching for Wales implies schools, universities coming together and having the confidence in themselves as learning communities to make a difference. Gone are the days, I think, that the silo mentality of education has held us back. We now must have the confidence to deliver a structure that brings people together. Gone are the arrogance of the silo days. We now move to a system where we co-develop, we co-own these very exciting new opportunities. But it is also an opportunity today for us to focus on new educational research partnerships. And I'm delighted that we are initially focusing upon some key areas linking Welsh language learning, early years, equity, and developing strong partnerships with universities, Russell universities, here in the United Kingdom and abroad as well. It's great for me today to note and to launch the partnerships with Glasgow University and Qualifications Wales to create a new centre of excellence in educational assessment and to develop new graduate schemes that allows our teachers as part of professional development to look to new opportunities to learn on the interests of assessment and also in a similar way in partnership with the University of Glasgow and with the Scottish and Irish leadership councils we are working with the regional concertia to create a Wales Centre for educational leadership. As some of you will have seen in the paper last week, we announced the names of the Wales Education Commission. This is about bringing the best of Wales and the best of the world to Wales. And I'm so pleased that colleagues have accepted my invitation to sit on this Wales Education Commission. 
and together we hope to see an exciting operational plan that will deliver some of the objectives of the Government of Wales. Why are we doing it? Because we passionately believe in the power of education. We strongly believe that professional teacher professionals in Wales deserve the best. And we need to be working together to create a structure that will raise the standards and offer the professional opportunities for our workforce. If we come together, create an educational community, a guiding coalition of professionals who can lead systemic change, then I believe that the new exciting opportunities linked with Donaldson and the curriculum will be exciting and will deliver and raise standards in Wales. This institute, this university, has been at the heart of teacher education for so many years. Yes, we can look back, anybody can do that. But the future now is creating a guiding, reflective learning community that brings teachers, professions together. You know as I do that the quality of an education system cannot exceed the quality of its teachers. And that's why focusing on teacher education, on professional development, is at the heart of the Institute. Out of developing strong partnerships with strong research based results to develop new opportunities. What, is a, what does a successful future look like? It calls upon developing a mature partnership. It talks about clear, coordinated language across Wales to raise standards, a commonality of language for teacher education and professional development. It calls for capacity building. It calls for a maturity to stand back, to observe, and to plan for a future, to look to the long-term game, and to deliver the best. <coughs> Why? Because the youngsters of Wales, they should have the best. The teachers of Wales should have the opportunity to be part of the best, to develop their skills, to develop their professional standing. And that is the work of the universities and other partners. Today we launched the Institute of Education within the University of Wales, Trinity St David. It is a partnership, a guiding coalition of partners coming together, hopefully, to make the difference, to transform education, to transform lives. We're very fortunate this morning that we have the Director of Education, Steve Davis, who is leading within the context of the government in supporting the policy developments. He is here, I know he's got a very tight schedule. I'm grateful to you for making time to be with us. And can I now call upon you to give an overview of the work? Yes, thank you.